Welcome to Zoo School Live with Elmwood Park Zoo. My name is Marissa and I have one of my very favorite animals with me today. His name is Dude the Box Turtle. Uh, Dude is an eastern box turtle so he's found all up and down the east coast and can be found right here in Pennsylvania where Elmwood Park Zoo is located. So you might notice my friend Dude, he's uh, doing a little bit of cruising. I did leave him a strawberry to find today, so we'll see. It's one of his absolute favorite foods. Um, so it looks like he beelines straight for it, which is pretty exciting. Um, it, is a, it is breakfast time for him. So Dude is an Eastern box turtle, right? So he's a reptile, which means that he's covered in scales. He has a nice shell on his back that's gonna protect him from predators. Um, and he's got a beak to help him eat up this strawberry right now, which is pretty exciting. So Dude uh, has been a longtime resident of Elmwood Park Zoo. His 30th birthday is actually in April. Um, so, you know, happy early birthday to our friend Dude here. Now, Dude is a male box turtle and we can tell that he's a boy because he has bright red eyeballs. Um, and that lets us know that he is a boy box turtle. Um, the girls will actually have more of a brown colored eye. Uh, now, dude, he is a reptile, so he's cold blooded um, and he's covered in scales that might protect him and keep him nice and healthy. And for dude here, even though he's not the biggest fan of chilly weather, they still hang out in Pennsylvania all winter long. So dude is gonna hang out and spend his winters hunkered under all kinds of leaves and foliage. So he's gonna dig in underneath those leaves where it's nice and insulated, and he's gonna stay toasty warm for the entirety of the winter. Now, around March is actually when we start to see our eastern box turtles coming back out. You might see them cruising around the forest or uh, maybe out in the sunshine. Since our reptile friends really enjoy the warm weather, they're gonna really enjoy coming out and basking in the sun, right, or hanging out. If you're nearby a pond, spending some time outside, you might see some turtles basking on logs. That's really important to keep their shell nice and healthy. So my friend Dude here, his shell is made out of bones. So this shell here, just to give you a little bit of an example, this is a snapping turtle shell. So on the inside here, you can actually see the backbone um, where it's attached to the inside of the, of the turtle, right? So Dude here, his backbone is attached to the inside of his shell, and that's gonna make sure that he's, uh, he's attached to that shell for his whole life, right? Because this shell is so important for him. But it is made out of bone, so in order to keep his shell nice and healthy, he has these scales um, that are covering his shell. Questions, please feel free to comment. Um, we'd love to hear your comments and also any questions that you have, we'll try our best to answer them. So if you want, we're gonna let dude eat some more of a strawberry, so feel free to watch and feel free to comment below if you have any questions or if you'd like to just see dude a little bit longer. <laughs> He's having a great day. How you doing, dude? Are you all done? I know it was a big strawberry. You have a tiny little belly. <laughs> you want to see if there are any questions? Yeah, all right, let's see if we have any questions. Oh, thank you for doing this. Oh, you're so welcome. I'm so glad you guys are joining us today. How is he looking? Do we have him on camera? Uh, blah, blah, blah. All right. Oh, yeah. Can't turn my computer sideways. Gotcha. That can be a tricky one. Let's see. Any questions? Are you doing this every day? So we're hoping to do it Monday to Friday, um, and hopefully we can meet. Uh, we have actually a, a lot of ambassador animals here at the zoo and also a lot of our zoo animals that are out and about here as well. Um, so we're hoping to do this Monday to Friday um, to provide you guys uh, at 11 a.m. every day, um, and hopefully you guys can, uh, can tune in and meet some more animals. Let's see, what other turtles do you have at the zoo? Oh, so exciting. So we have Diamondback Terrapins. I'm a bit of a, a turtle nerd, so I'm hoping to make these Turtle Tuesdays. Um, but so we, <laughs> we have Diamondback Terrapins here. Um, we have Dude, who's an Eastern Box Turtle. We also have 
Um, some three-toed box turtles here, which look very similar to Dude. They're actually just a little bit of a lighter coloration. Um, and we also have Woody, um, a wood turtle here at the zoo. And we do have some tortoises as well. So we have... <laughs> Oh yeah, get in there, my friend. Um, so we have uh, a gopher tortoise named Sandy um, and a pancake tortoise uh, named Hungry Jack, and we'll be sure to meet him super soon, hopefully. All right, let's see. Yes, Turtle Tuesdays. I'm very excited about this. All right, so, oh, Izzy and Eloise want to know how fast the turtle moves. So surprisingly, Dude is pretty speedy. Now, not in terms of a cheetah, right? He's not clocking 76 miles an hour. Um, but our friend Dude can, when so inclined, move pretty speedy. I can't say he has he's gonna reach even one mile an hour, um, but when he wants to, he can he can be pretty quick. All right, let's see. What else do we have? Oh, how long do they live? Um, so box turtles can live about, um, the oldest living box turtle was 132 years old. Um, so he can live uh, quite a long time. Uh, why don't box turtles hibernate? They do. Um, so box turtles that are out um, in the wild are hibernating. March is about the time that they're gonna start peeking their heads out and start cruising around looking for snacks. Um, but our friend, uh, dude, the box turtle is, uh, luckily we maintain a pretty high temperature for him all year round. So it's kind of like sunny and 75 every day for our friend dude. So he is uh, not going to be hibernating unlike his wild relatives. Uh, Ellie and Alice want to know what things Dude eats. So right now he's munching on a strawberry, um, but he's going to eat all kinds of salads and lettuce, and he's going to eat uh, worms. So he's actually what we consider to be an omnivore, and he's going to live and thrive in the North American forests and all kinds of different habitats, but the forest is where they really thrive. Um, so he's really gonna enjoy um, n munching on all kinds of plant material and lots of insects and bugs. All right, Josephine wants to know how big do will Dude get? Um, well, Josephine, Dude here is going to be this size forever. Um, so he stays fun sized forever, which is pretty awesome. So our friend Dude here, he won't get much bigger than this um, from probably the tip of his tail all the way to his nose. I would say he probably gets close to about eight to 10 inches long. Um, and that's gonna be as big as he gets. Um, Victoria wants to know, how did he get his spots on his shell? Oh man, so those spots, um, he was born with them, which was pretty exciting. He comes very colorful. And Eastern box turtles come in a variety of colors. They're going to come in yellows and oranges and even some reds. And that's gonna help them blend in with the forest floor, right? Because here in North America, we have a lot of deciduous forests, which are going to be uh, pretty colorful in the fall time, right? So when our friend Dude is moving around, he's gonna do a lot of uh, making sure that he stays camouflaged with that shell. So he was born with those spots, which is pretty cool. And he's, it might be a lot, little hard to see in the camera, but he's actually a pretty orange color on his arms. Those are those scales that he has. All right, let's see. What other questions do we have? Joshua, who is three, wants to know if dude likes snakes. Does he have any snake friends? Oh, that's nice. Um, so dude here, uh, he does have some friends. He gets along well with some of our other turtles, but you know what? I can't say he's ever met a snake before. He does live next door to some snakes, so maybe we'll have to see if they're, if they're interested at all in becoming friends, but I don't know. But dude definitely has a lot of people friends here as his keepers, and he also has quite a few other turtle friends that he lives right next door to. All right. Uh, Derek wants to know if he lives in water. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad you asked, Derek. Well, dude here, he's considered a box turtle. Now, he will live in the forest and he'll live near water, but unfortunately, 
dude is a terrible swimmer. So he does not have webbed feet. He's not, he would, he would probably sink to the bottom. He would be a terrible swimmer. He would definitely fail out of swim lessons. So unfortunately, he doesn't spend a lot of time in water. Um, he'll spend a lot of time near water though. So he likes to live near creeks, right? Because the ground's gonna be wet. It's easier for him to dig around and get all kinds of worms and all those other delicious insects that he really likes to eat. Let's see, what else? Um, Brody and Grady want to know how much he weighs. Oh man, so I'm not quite sure how much our friend dude weighs. He definitely weighs probably close to a pound or a little less than a pound. But he is pretty dense with that shell, right? Since it's made out of bone, it's a little heavier. Um, but for him, it's not super heavy. So he's not gonna be more than probably a pound or two. So yeah, about one to two pounds. Let's see. Uh, Emma says, dude is so sweet. Oh, I agree. Oh, and she loves strawberries too. Wonderful. Again, if you guys want to buy dude a strawberry, especially since his 30th birthday is coming up, you are absolutely welcome to. If you want, you can donate to our emergency fund that's on our website, elmwoodparkzoo.org, um, and you can buy dude as many strawberries as you want. He will be very thankful. And Jeffrey wants to know about how many calories he eats in a day. Well, he has a pretty low calorie diet. Our friend dude here enjoys a salad almost every day. And on the days that he doesn't get salad, he gets crickets. So they're a little higher in protein. But again, he, a pretty low cal diet for our friend dude here. All right. Oh, Logan would like to know what his favorite food is. So that is what our friend dude is eating right now, is his favorite snack in the whole wide world, which is strawberries. Strawberries are in fact his favorite food. And he also really likes tomatoes. And that's because turtles, they actually see the color red a little bit better and a little bit differently than we do. So they have a really great eyesight. And for these guys, they actually see more colors than we do, which is pretty amazing. And so things that are bright red or bright orange, like strawberries and tomatoes and cantaloupe are gonna be some of his favorite foods. All right. Julian wants to know how he takes a bath. All right, well, dude here, he actually gets a bath every day. Um, so every day we fill up his water bowl with nice warm water and we put him right in. He doesn't get a bubble bath, so no soap and bubbles for him. Um, but we soak him in nice warm water and that helps to keep turtles really healthy, um, especially since he's not the biggest swimmer. Um, putting him in water in, sh in a shallow water dish every day helps to keep him very hydrated and make sure that he is nice and healthy let's see aubrey wants to know if dude has bigger little teeth oh great question aubrey so dude actually has no teeth and it's kind of hard to see but when he was munching that strawberry earlier he's just going to use his beak so for dude here he does not have any teeth in his mouth he just has a beak just like a bird and he's going to use that beak to chomp down on all kinds of strawberries leah says does dude like to swim well, not so much. He's not a very good swimmer, unfortunately. Even though he's a turtle, and most turtles are aquatic, our friend Dude is almost like a tortoise. He prefers land. And that's one of the main differences between turtles and tortoises, is that turtles really love swimming, and tortoises like to stay on dry land. But Dude, even though he likes to soak in some water, he's not a very good swimmer. So he's kind of the exception to the rule. Oh, happy 30th birthday, dude. I agree. Oh, can they breathe underwater? From Jonas. Well, Jonas, unfortunately, dude cannot breathe underwater. So when we do soak him in water, he's gonna go under. He might take a few sips of water, but he won't stay under there for too long. He's gonna pop his head up and breathe air. Tyler and Dylan wants to know if he knows any tricks. Um, you know, unfortunately, dude is not able to do a backflip, although I'd love to see it one day. Um, but dude's best trick is being able to find snacks just about everywhere. Um, so he's going to use his, his eyesight, right, and seeing all those different colors to help him find all the delicious snacks, especially strawberries. All right. Riley wants to know if dude likes people. Yeah, dude loves people. 
Um, so he does really great. He does especially great in crowds. He loves an audience. Um, so dude here being one of our ambassador animals, he goes to see all kinds of different uh, school groups. He's been in front of, he's done presentations in front of hundreds of people. So he's definitely a little bit of a ham. So he really uh, loves being in front of people as he's not really gonna hide in his shell too much. That's one of the ways we can tell. So just like right now, um, he's sticking his head up um, and he's not hiding in his shell. That's how we know that he's pretty comfortable and he's gonna stay uh, nice, nice and friendly and out for you guys to see today because he really does enjoy people, which is pretty exciting. All right. Oh, so that's a great question. Uh, was he on exhibit? So dude is not on exhibit. Actually, he lives behind the scenes here at the zoo. He's one of our education ambassador animals. So dude is gonna spend a lot of his time going out, going to schools, going to senior homes. He gets to meet a lot of people every day. So we don't keep him on exhibit because it'd be pretty sad if he came and dude wasn't home. Um, so for dude here, he does live behind the scenes here at the zoo, uh, but he spends a lot of time outside meeting all kinds of people. So. Hopefully this summer you guys will come and be able to see Dude. He is often out in the connection corner um, or out doing greets, so he spends a lot of time um, here at the zoo roaming around. We do have a box turtle on exhibit though in our wildlife lodge. His name is George, and next time you come, you'll have to check him out. He is pretty awesome. Now, Dude here, again, his absolute favorite food is strawberry. So if you would like to help Dude celebrate his 30th birthday, which is next month, um, you are welcome to purchase him some strawberries. Please donate to our emergency fund, which is on elmwoodparkzoo.org. Um, and you can help Dude out and give him as many strawberries as he would like. All right, guys, well, thanks again for coming and joining us on Zoo School Live today. Again, we'll be doing this at 11 a.m. every Monday to Friday, um, and you can join us. We're gonna be meeting a different animal every day, or maybe we'll have to be sure to pop back in and wish Dude a happy birthday. Um, but stay tuned for more animals to come so we can meet uh, some of our ambassador animals and see how some of our zoo exhibit animals are doing as well. Um, we'll try our best to answer some of these questions that you guys have. If you have more, please feel free to keep commenting and we'll try our best uh, to pop back in and answer as many as we can. Thanks again for coming and thanks again for joining me with Dude today. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. Happy Turtle Tuesday!